Floyd or no, it's not King Pink Crimson Floyd. It's or not Black Pink Floyd. Floyd. It's not Pink Floyd. Or, 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 or Madonna's cover band. Or it's that not. That's just quiet. Jeez. It's not Pink Floyd at all. I'll point it out to you when it happens. That is if it does happen in the scene. <laughs> Oh, it's just low right there. Oh, just, you, just, you just threw her back in. That's fine. Oh, is that Oh, that's boring. No, this one is this is where you got caught. Yeah, you're dead. Oh, that's what I happened and to have And also how stage. ticklish you are. Uh, <laughs> See? The Three Stooges. Oh, that's boring. No, this one is this is where you got <laughs> Stop! Okay, okay, okay. Tickle, tickle. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That was almost a Three Stooges moment she had. <laughs> Take a seat. Yeah. Love you. Love you. <laughs> Oops. I love you. Again. Judge Judy has sent plenty of people spiraling out of control on her hit TV show, but if you think she is tough in court, wait till you hear about Judge Judy, the mother. Extra Scott Rappaport asked Judy's kids to judge the judge. It's another extra exclusive. You are about to enter the courtroom. These morons will never learn. Of Judge Judith Scheinlin. What the hell is wrong with you? This is Judge Judy. Yeah, she's a huge TV star with an audience of 10 million, and yeah, we love it when she busts on those bozos every day. What are you, stupid? But can you imagine if this screaming down, person was your mother? I still can't see how she just yells at people she doesn't know. <laughs> Meet Adam, Nicole, John, and Greg. They are not the litigants. They are Judge Judy's kids. Adorable little darlings who swear the testimony they are about to give is true. Judge Judy's been called nasty, tough, cranky. What's she really like? Tough, nasty, cranky? <laughs> not your typical description of one's mother, but this is not your typical family. The Shineland clan formed in 1978 when a young and divorced Judge Judy with two kids of her own married State Supreme Court Justice Jerry Shineland, who today hosts the People's Court. They were quite the groovy couple. How about that? At the time, Jerry, too, had been divorced with three children himself. Now, if you're keeping score at home, Adam was Judge Judy's biological son, and Nicole, Greg, and John were Judge Jerry's. Like something out of the Brady Bunch, the two families became one, and that unique Judge Judy personality began to emerge. She couldn't stand stupid. You can't stand stupid. What are you, stupid? It wasn't that she was tough. She wasn't stupid. So you couldn't put things over on her. What were the ground rules? Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid and get caught. <laughs> and if you did, they say, well, you've seen the show. You smacked me in the air and smacked him in the mouth. Oh, that's too bad! That's too bad! <laughs> what kind of punishment did she mete out? She would sit you down and just, just brutalize you verbally. And she just guilt you to death. But as scary as this all sounds, it was really a fun place to be. We'd go skiing and horseback riding and shopping. We had a really good time. Jerry was in charge of all the fun things. You read me so well. Papa Jerry, they say, was the softy. Whenever we need anything, you go to him. He'll let you bend the rules. Jerry does not have the word no in his vocabulary. That's what Judy's for. Yeah. <laughs> and the kids say nothing was more fun than when liberal Jerry and conservative Judy had one of their little rows over crucial domestic issues. What did they fight about? If Jerry put the, uh, the toilet paper on the roller the wrong way, that was held to be had. That was big. That was huge. That was big. But enough of this family stuff. Let's get to the dirt. Tell me something about Judge Judy that nobody knows. He's a clean freak. She celebrated my, my birthday on the wrong day for 15 years. <laughs> uh, <right>. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Still, it didn't hurt the kids any. Today, John is a retinal surgeon, and Adam, Nicole, and Greg are attorneys like their parents, which may come in handy. Because after Judge Judy sees this story, you think she's going to let him off the hook? Forget it. 
Well, if all that dish doesn't land the kids in the doghouse, this tidbit might. They say Judge Judy is the queen of discount shopping. Her favorite stop is the bargain basement of a well-known department store. Funniest thing that I saw, I was watching a completely dark show at a club, and they've got a big broadcast screen while G.J. Allen's playing, they're playing Metallica videos, interviews, or something like that. Yeah. Hey, you want to try uh, something different? Ozzy? Osborne? Crazy Train? Yeah, but you're not even in the course of it. 